Welcome to Frank Talk About Sensors. This edition deals with the topic of sensor integration. To make sensors easier to use and provide greater functionality, sensor manufacturers add or integrate more circuitry to their sensors. As the integration arrow going down the right hand side of this slide shows, the sensing element becomes more of a component and then a subsystem and ultimately a complete sensing system with increased level of integration. Now, microelectromechanical system or MEMS technology allows the design of mechanical structures in silicon and is the basis of high volume pressure sensors and accelerometers. The pressure sensor structure shown here has a millivolt level signal with an uncalibrated and temperature sensitive output. That product can be used by a customer who can do the signal conditioning themselves or the manufacturer could provide that inside the package uh, in one manner to take it to the next level of a sensing component. However, in some instances, the signal conditioning must be integrated with the sensor, since the sensor's output is so small and sensitive to interference. A good example is MEMS accelerometers that have a femtofarad level output. In the top, we have a sensing cell that's separated from the control circuitry. The control circuitry either is by the side or actually underneath the sensing cell. In the lower example here, we have the sensor integrated with a signal conditioning circuitry at the same time and in a monolithic level structure. An example of a subsystem design is Honeywell's LG1237 pressure transducer. It uses MEMS pressure sensing technology with microprocessor based signal conditioning to provide greater functionality. The Impress Sensors and Systems DS transmitter is more like a complete system. It combines a pressure sensor with signal conditioning, switch outputs, and a scalable and programmable LED rotating display to provide more than a sensing function. An example of a multi-sensor integration was recently introduced by ST Microelectronics. ST integrated a three-axis digital accelerometer with a three-axis digital magnetic sensor in a single module. The digital compass module targets applications in navigation and emerging smart location-based services. ST calls the design a system in package digital compass. That's going to do it for this edition of Frank Talk About Sensors. See you next time.